What is going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about Lucid. I want to give you a quick overview of some of the current data points, what really happened with shorts and everything else you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. So Lucid did close 0.4% in the red. In all honesty, it didn't do all that bad. Yes, it did create a new 52-week and all-time low of $2.42, but it bounced off of a very strong support. So I'm going to talk about that in a second. But in comparison to the broader market, it didn't do all that bad so a lot of things is really affecting lucid right now of course the hope of rate cuts kind of diminishing or at least getting pushed back to the tail end of the year right now has really been affecting lucid and just the whole ev market and then of course you have that whole iran scenario that's starting to develop right now so that all is affecting lucid but today there's been no official news from lucid no sec filings nothing along those lines unofficially you're seeing a lot of videos about the gravity floating around on social media so I think the market is starting to get very excited or maybe this might be a precursor essentially to gravity reservations I'm not really sure but no matter what I feel that this is going to be the next big thing for lucid and I think a lot of people can agree on that some people obviously don't like the gravity and whatever else but I feel based on the price point that is lucid's best opportunity at at least hitting a home run and at least being able to break the downtrend that's been on. So again, uh, that's kind of the next big thing to really look forward to and institutions know that. And so this is why institutions still haven't really been getting in. So today there's been only four transactions as a total today, 18.6 million shares were traded 26.6 is the average as far as shorts they did increase a small amount so 896,000 shares 31.77 percent of the free flow is being shorted so a new 52 week or all-time high short interest so that's been happening for the last two days so all-time low share price all-time high short interest if, the, if i have that right but utilization is 100 percent cost of borrow average is 38.28 percent and you do see the latest round of 13 f's a lot of institutions increase increasing their positions of course the bigger players in the market are near the end of this month so near the end of april that's where you'll have blackrock and vanguard increasing their position or uh, obviously disclosing their position based off of their etfs it does show that they probably did increase but regardless though seeing institutions increase i think is a, a fairly good thing and all of this did occur during q1 just on a side note looking at options though so today not much money really was getting into calls so four hundred ninety thousand dollars in calls 5.26 million inputs sentiment wise 50 percent of all the options being done today were bearish and of the call options you do see a consensus for it to be roughly around three dollars by the end of next week and to encumber their earnings you do see see it is estimated to be around three dollars so nothing really crazy so not a lot of optimism so hopefully lucid has some stuff in their back pocket that it is going to surprise some people with but looking at puts you do see a consensus for it to be a sub roughly about two dollars going into next week so again something to kind of consider dark pool was very very quiet today so normally you see a lot of activity similar to what happened yesterday right here so a lot of transactions occurred on the dark pool yesterday but today was absolutely quiet as hell so i'm not really sure if people were just taking the day off or the broader like geopolitical issues and concerns were just too much for the market so people were just taking a step back I'm not really sure, but I do know that this right here was the saving grace. So right now with it closing at $2.49, it is trading between this S2 to this S1. So this S2 of $2.43, like I said, was the saving grace. It bounced off of that general area and it trended higher. So I think that's kind of a positive thing. At least we know that there's a lot of support and a lot of the institutional purchasing that did happen, even though there wasn't that many, did occur around that 243 range still didn't really get anywhere close to this s1 so we do know going into next week that two dollars and 64 cents will essentially be that target that you'll want to watch for it to get above so let me know your thoughts on that still beside the point um, even though it did have a nice rebound for i guess the second part of the day today the overall trend is still somewhat negative so give yourself a shadow if you did and were bold enough to buy or average down or did you sell i do see some people on social media oddly saying that they did sell i feel like if you've been holding for the last three years you are down a pretty significant amount just to give you a good overview of 
above that, let's say you've been holding just for one year, you're down roughly about 69.37%. If you've been holding for a little bit longer than that, um, obviously it's not been trading for five years, but probably like 80% you're down. Logically, are you, is it worthwhile to sell at these prices? Yeah, maybe the downside might be $2 potentially, but I feel like long term, the upside is definitely far outweighing the downside. Because like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, I did ask AI essentially on where Lucid might be going and it did say that an upside of roughly about $6 is anticipated by the end of this year of 2024. Downside though, it did say $1. So of course uh, that could be taken with a grain of salt. But beside the point, let me know your thoughts on Lucid. As far as looking on the actual chart itself, just to give you a quick overview of that. So it is lower percentile of the boiling event. Looking at stochastic, you do see a bearish deviation. So red line above the white, but it is at eight. So that is very oversold. So once again, as I've said, if there is a good piece of news that does come out, then you will see a rush of value investors getting in. So overall, I think that would be a very good thing. Plus, looking at the momentum indicator, though, you do see number of retail investors were slightly getting in today. So maybe they're averaging down and whatever else. So I feel like the gravity, like I said, will be the next big thing. So hopefully Lucid comes out with their A game for marketing because this is Lucid's best opportunity for success. Because like I said, I think I've been saying this like since 2022. Gravity is the next big thing for actually, sorry, not 2022, 2023. But Gravity is the next big thing. And so if they mess up on this catalyst, the next thing for them to save like from this downtrend is that mid-sized SUV that's coming out in 2026. So there's going to be that very, very wide gap that you need gravity to fulfill that huge demand. So essentially big shoes to fill. Hopefully Lucid has what it takes and the gravity does too. So let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. One final thing, make sure you guys take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and you get seven fractional shares of the Meg 7. So a $35 total value. Make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.